I'm, I'm more <laughs> sentimental. And Sydney, Sydney breaks out the fireworks. She's, she's. It's gonna make sure you feel it. Yeah. Is food a love language? Yes. Like how we make grilled cheese. Yes, like yes, 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 yes. Like, okay, like, gotcha, gotcha. I love okay. That was the most starstruck I've ever seen anybody because it literally ended in people falling over. <laughs> I'm Sydney Sweeney. I'm Glenn Powell. And we are playing Most Likely To. Most Likely To. Yeah. I would say that you're not like your anyone but you character. Sydney's very bubbly and sweet and knows exactly what she wants. <laughs> and, and Glenn is not like his character. He's also very, very kind, not a player at all, and is a family man. Yeah. Shucks. He was constantly doing push-ups. For yeah, I feel, I feel like I feel like with every push-up, I became more of a douchebag, uh, which really helped to get into character. Yeah, there's something there's something about resistance bands and weights on set that I do not think are good for for your personality. So those are those those are left in Australia. I left those there. I'm back. Okay, I don't I don't, I don't want to be that guy anymore. <laughs> and every time I slapped Glenn, it just just really felt like me. Yeah, it's really true. I did get slapped a lot in this movie. Probably do. You've gone to a lot. Gone to a lot of weddings. One time, uh, I went pretty uh, pretty hard the night before, but I wanted to go horseback riding and, and cut some cows the next morning in, in a thing in Montana. So I was the most hungover I've ever been, and I was basically in a cowboy hat on a ranch and accidentally drove some stuff towards the a wedding thing. I, I, I didn't do it very well. You shouldn't you shouldn't cut cows and and on a hangover. It's not good. Equally romantic? Yeah, we're both, 50, we're 50. both pretty romantic. You, I would say you're a big gesture kind of person. Yeah. You're you are too, but on a very like thoughtful, meaningful way. Yeah. I'm, I'm more mm -hmm. sentimental. And Sydney, Sydney breaks out the fireworks. She's, she's... It's gonna make sure you feel it. Yeah. You I'm romantic on a budget. No. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Quality time. Yeah, quality time. Food. Is food a love language? Yes. Oh, so I thought we were going with the four, the four main ones. I didn't know you could like. Oh I would goodness. go. I would say football is a love language for me as no, well. No, 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 no. Like if you have like if you cook together, like how we make grilled cheese. Yes, like yes, 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 like, yes. Like okay, that's gotcha, a, gotcha. A love okay, language. yeah, that is a love language. Yeah. Okay. Which is a part of quality time. It's part of the senses, but also part of yeah, the, quality the time. Languages. Yes. I, I cook a lot. Yeah. I love cooking. Yeah, I, I don't eat cheese though, so that no. was really funny doing the grilled cheese. And I love cheese, so what would end up happening is he would put all the cheese on my side of the grilled cheese, and then he'd only have bread on his side, but no one knows, so I would yeah. eat all the cheese. She ate a lot of cheese on day one of the, this movie. That was day one, that scene. That was so Sydney so took like down like eight grilled cheese sandwiches, and I just had a ton of bread. Yeah. I think we're both pretty much pranksters. I was trying to remember some of the, some of the things, but we, we'll I, talk. We'll talk off camera. Yeah. But yes, I I I I would say I we're equally with, mischievous. I messed with Glenn a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've had more shots at this. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like I've. Uh, I think I think I, I can do a pretty You're, good day. Yeah. I'm right. honestly trying to do less on a date. We're focused on on person rather than stuff the whole thing you know me we both get starstruck who do you get starstruck by remember i thought i was like the property brothers the property brothers that's right yeah that's right yeah that was weird um the the uh, but most people are starstruck by sydney i i uh, that was the craziest part is if you walk, if you walk down anywhere with Sydney, people will literally break their neck and fall over. There was one guy; it was a drunk guy coming out of a, a football game. I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> I do. We we're we we're going out of a like a. It was like we we're walking down the street, and there was like a football game getting out. And all of a sudden, she sees like all these guys coming. So she kind of pops like against the wall into the shadows. And some guy goes, like, "Is that Sydney Sweeney?" And she jumped out, and he fell over himself and knocked over like. Four of his buddies. It was really. It was he so conjured funny. Sydney from the wall. And I was like, I go, oh, and I just go running. And it's like, where are you going? What are you doing? 
It was crazy. Yeah. It was really fun. So yeah, that was the most starstruck I've ever seen anybody because it literally ended in people falling over. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Anyone But You in theaters December 26th.